Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video we're going to be taking a human torch for a little bit of a exercise in Act 6. So first we're going to take a path in Act 6, Chapter 1, Quest 5. That is the Crossbones quest. And now with that, uh, basically, yeah, uh, we're going to try and finish entire path using only human torch and see how long it takes and how difficult it is. And after this one's done, we're going to be taking a little a look in Act 6, Chapter 2 and we're going to be doing some uh, path in 6.22 uh, so yeah first things first so uh, superior in Iron Man this is nothing too difficult uh, the main thing that we do uh, have to notice in this quest is the global node power struggle uh, but since I'm running suicides I will not necessarily want to spam my special attacks too much in most of the fights anyway so I'm not too worried in this fight we had aspect of nightmares which cost half my health and then it kind of gives it back, but because I'm poisoned, I didn't really get all of it back. Uh, however, it's not too bad, we still have plenty of health left, and this fight's already nearly over, so Act 6 opponent uh, went down in 30 hits without any class advantage or any particular uh, great kind of like matchup there. Uh, so it's not too bad. Now I'm going to be fighting as this Falcon and he is stun immune and we are also at a class disadvantage. So it definitely does not really bode too well for us and I will definitely take way too much block damage with uh, Human Torch and that will definitely showcase one of the bigger weaknesses with Human Torch. To me he seems that he is in fact a uh, quite flimsy he definitely doesn't seem to have all that kind of like bulk and sustainability to him uh, you do have to be careful playing him he doesn't have the best block proficiency and yeah uh, however if you are careful with the guy he is still not the weaker kind of like character he's not he doesn't have the feel that let's say call obsidian has or stark spider-man has but it's not far from it you do have to be careful as we can see here i'm taking quite a bit of block damage it's obviously due to class disadvantage as well to a point uh, and however slowly but surely we are managing to take this guy down now because of stun immunity i don't really have too many openings to pump up my temperature therefore my incinerates expire quicker and obviously there is a masochism node which also lets him regain some amount of health uh, however at this point i think i'm kind of getting used to how using human torch a bit better and uh we're still gonna carry on with whatever health we have remaining and we're gonna manage to clear entire path so uh, just because we played this fight sloppy doesn't mean that we can't do better later on and here he is on his final 10 percent we're almost ready to finish the fight out 68 hits so this fight took uh, twice as long but what's done is done and now we're moving forward now we have Sabertooth. Sabertooth should be quite an advantageous matchup for us just because of our ability to mitigate and reverse healing and yeah it should not be the worst time overall however we only had 29% of our health entering this fight plus running suicides uh, yeah that does not leave too much room for ever, uh, error luckily Nick Fury and uh, Gold Pulse Synergy will uh, help us kind of like maintain ourselves throughout the quest uh, but as we can see here, uh, five, six incinerates, and we're actually dealing a solid amount of degen damage <laughs> against this Sabertooth, so definitely can't complain. Uh, we are actually entered our no state as well uh, without trying, and that is in fact going to be something that I will try to do more and more on purpose. And it turns out it is not as difficult as I initially thought to enter that uh, no state. However, uh, it's I don't think it's like worth to try and rush it in many different matchups and you have to be able to parry stun your opponent. That is kind of like a big deal, big important thing. And also you need to make sure your opponent doesn't have any external power gains because if you will spend too much time betting out opponent special attacks, you will pretty much never be able to enter it. Uh, however, next fight, Venom. So we start up uh, by heavy attack and pumping up our temperature. Uh, now, I did make a small slip up, so Quake awaits energy saved me there but it's all good so at this point i will try to enter uh, my nose flames no state so we pump up our temperature with heavy tech again and uh, the best way to do it kind of pretty much is uh, to do multiple dash back intercepts just two hit combos light medium light medium light medium and if you can nail three of those in a row then you're pretty much there just make sure that you have your temperature up and you will be done uh, however we're not all that successful at this point uh, however i do play a bit risky because i handed away charge to waste and i do charge my heavy attack from distance and luckily i let it go in the right time and uh, yeah as you can see here he is at uh, 
close to me entering no state. So I'm at max temperature. Uh, however, I still don't seem to be able to get it on time. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'll get better with practice. I think I do manage to do it in the last couple of fights. Now we enter no flames, no state when he was just about dead. Uh, however, the fight itself wasn't too long. 32 hits. It's not too bad uh, for an act six opponent. But we do have to keep in mind that it is with Suicide's active, Human Torch rank 2, we have 10% attack boost from the Fury Synergy, and two Smolders at the beginning of the fight due to Thing Synergy. Uh, however, uh, none of these matchups are technically like perfect for Human Torch either, and we're not really spamming our special attacks, just trying to kind of conserve our health. Uh, so there's that. Overall, I don't think my opinion has changed too much about him uh, when it comes to kind of like regular and generic questing. I think he's all right, he's good, uh, just about the same level kind of like as a Red Hulk in a generic matchup, just Red Hulk is beefier. Uh, however, here we managed to enter Nova's Flames, Nova State uh, super early within 20 hits and now we have like a nice amount of damage to look forward to, plus that power sting, everything is going well for us, max temperature and I think I'm gonna manage to enter Nova Flames again because we are at like 7 insane rates, I just need to pump up my temperature but yep, Nova Flames come up and she goes down super easy, uh, hardly any fuss at all, 37 hits and She-Hulk is no more. Now we have Old Man Logan and I think Old Man Logan is gonna be stun immune in this fight if I'm not mistaken, I could be mixing it up with something else uh, but so far I'm actually quite happy with the performance of Human Torch and uh, it's definitely kind of been a good practice session because I have not been using him all that much up until the point that I ramped him up so I definitely have some ground to cover and I will be trying to record some uh, videos, some goofy things he can do and just overall try and use him as much as I can in order to practice a bit more. But let's jump back in the fight. So even though he is stun immune, we still managed to get in fair amount of intercepts and we can use those away charges to pump up our temperature a bit later on. And he has down quite uh, well at this point. Now we do kind of amp our heavy attack and we do it once again. Now we managed to land it as well. And that means that we are at 20 temperatures. Uh, we are nearly kind of like super close to no flames. We enter it basically last second. And here we can see that our flames can start dealing more damage. And however, at the same point, uh, Old Man Logan goes down in 27 hits. So 27 hits for an Act 6 opponent without having a class advantage or any particularly great matchup, even with a stun immunity on opponent, definitely doesn't seem too bad of a deal for a 6 star rank 2. And now we have, I think, final match on this lane, because obviously Human Touch cannot deal with that crossbones due to biohazard. However, we can still deal with this guy. And this guy uh, has buffet node on him, so there is going to be a quite funny moment and he all of a sudden is going to lose quite a large chunk of health uh, just when I'm going to trigger a buff on myself. As we can see here, he does trigger his buffet with a bunch of debuffs and yeah. So Human Torch is in fact quite good against buffet nodes, why not, right? And uh, now I do drop my level 2 and then just quickly aim to finish him off. And yeah, so that will do for first lane. Now we jumped in 6.22 and first fight is going to be Punisher 2099. And this is obviously back blast node. However, we don't really care about it because we're in Syndrate Immune. So uh, that is also obviously upside of Human Torch because he is Cold Snap and in Syndrate Immune. And that will be kind of like well used in this map as well. Now, as I mentioned before, it is quite a bit trickier to use Human Torch against opponents who do get power gain effects. Because uh, that means you spend more time baiting out their special attacks and you have less time to place your incinerates on them and worry about your temperature. And that means it's kind of like close to impossible to enter the no flame state when you have to worry about... Uh, longer special animations uh, and more time opponent having this power when you can't intercept him. Uh, but still, we have done fairly good progress. I'm gonna have a fairly sketchy ending to this fight as well because he is going to trigger his power gain and uh, he will refuse to throw his level 2. So I'm gonna have to kind of go for a push and rely on stun at end of my level 2. And luckily at that point also his regeneration is going to trigger and that will allow me to uh, kind of reverse it and deal a bit more damage and finish the fight off. So as you can see here, uh, the three gens there, however, we had plenty of debuffs, some incinerates, and we reversed the regen and we managed to finish it off just in time. And now next fight is going to be against Ultron. 
and uh, Ultron is a fairly interesting opponent just because uh, all our damage is in fact energy damage so he's going to be regenerating most of our hits however at the same time we have all this heal reversal available to us so we will be able to reverse the heal and uh, therefore end up doing even like a more damage to him it's definitely quite interesting chain of interactions over there because yeah he's supposed to regen every single hit we throw at him however despair mastery maxed plus ability to reverse the region we can see that he's ticking away and he's taking basically kind of like a double damage dose whenever we're hitting him he's certainly not getting back in much health uh, but yeah so super quick fight uh, finished off it would have been done in like 22 hits uh, but level 2 obviously has multiple hits on it and next we're moving on to x23 another fight uh, that should be fairly cool for human torch because she does trigger regeneration which we are able to reverse and yeah there's not much to it other than that it's a fairly simple fight now it has bubble shield on so i do have to be careful with how many hits i take in my block because if i do take 10 hits in a block she's gonna go completely unblockable which can be problematic <laughs> but uh we're pretty much fine so far we managed to enter our no flame state at really kind of like early on in the fight which is cool we dropped our level one and now she gets power stung because of our no flames they also play pa place power sting an opponent and she goes down super quickly once again uh, so human torch well at least on suicides he definitely is a rather potent killer i would say under the right circumstances especially uh, however he by himself typically is not the most suicide friendly champion so it's not really a scenario that's going to happen all that much outside of team building like this with Quake and Nick Fury and Goldpool and stuff. Uh, however, when you do kind of amp him up, he definitely can put in some solid work, as we can see here. Uh, once again, we enter No Flames within 12 hits, so I have been getting a bit better when it comes to uh, entering this No Flame state and dealing even more damage with Human Torch. Uh, so it just kind of like shows that uh, the more you practice the character that that kind of better you can control it uh, but yeah so far so good uh, we have most of our health uh, still intact in fact we have hardly taken a scratch and we're moving on to gold pool now gold pool is going to be a bit trickier opponent just because he has that like backup recovery thing going on for him uh, but at the same time he has aggression region like the rest of these guys and he's going to trigger his genetic regeneration which is kind of like a good food for a human torch so yeah backup recovery luckily i quickly do manage to bait out the special attack and now i'm going to drop my heavy once again he triggers his region which does not help him whatsoever I just want to place a few more flames on him and once again we can see he's absolutely melting away 22 hits and the fight is over and now for the last fight in today's video that is going to be that annoying Emma Frost with limber and kinetic transference and whatever not and we will be using our uh, pre-fight ability uh, to start off with no flames and because they are passive so we can still place those flames on Emma Frost even though she's pretty much immune to everything she's not immune to passive effects so that's quite cool and yeah i will make a quick slip up in this fight i will eat level two to the face but i will survive it and i'll come back and i'll destroy this lady quite efficiently uh, but yeah it will be a quite an embarrassing uh, slip up in this fight uh, but other than that i am definitely happy with what i have been seeing from human torch so far he's definitely not uh breathtaking character in vast majority of the situations but uh there are a lot of kind of niche fights that i still haven't showed especially against energy dealing champions mystic champions or whenever simply you take care of problem fight using no flames that is quite cool uh, and i definitely look forward to kind of recording more footage using this guy but this video was just to kind of like showcase him on his base stat abilities in average matchups where i think he did better than i thought he would anyways that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed it see ya